TV where we make delicious foods that you want to snap a picture of and share with your friends right before you eat and devour it. And on today's episode, I want to say welcome back to the Coffee Series. It is week three. We are discussing the solar plexus, hence my yellow t-shirt today. The solar plexus is yellow. It's represented by the color yellow. It is the third chakra, two inches above the navel at the base of the ridge cape. What? At the base of your ridge cape. What? At the base of your rib cage. Okay, it is the third chakra, right? It is the third chakra, two inches above your navel at the base of your rib cage. Yes, there we go. So your solar plexus, this is your drive, your willpower, your ambition, your confidence it is the seat of your ego, your personality, your identity. This is our self-esteem, our willpower, our drive, our responsibility, our movement, our action. This is our go-getter, get it done to do chakra. So this is again your personal power, your drive. This is what pushes you to go out and um, accomplish your goals. So your solar plexus is connected to your muscular system, your skin, your pancreas, your lungs, as well as your sense of sight. So again, your solar plexus being in the pit of your stomach, two inches above the navel, this is going to be linked to any type of disorders you have in the tummy area, such as vomiting, nausea. Your solar plexus is also linked to fibromyalgia, acid reflux, nerve pain. Remember, it is connected to the lungs as well. So it's also gonna have ties to asthma, any type of respiratory issues as well. Your solar plexus is connected to ulcers, blurriness, IBS, diabetes, overeating, as well as excess or extra weight around the stomach area. So someone with a happy, healthy solar plexus, this is someone who handles criticism well, you handle problems easily, you have an outlook of improvement on life, and you accept, you understand, and you radiate inner peace. So a happy, healthy solar plexus chakra is knowing and acting in the power to choose. You choose to live your life purpose rather than letting your karma play out or just let life pass you by. So an underbalanced solar plexus is going to look like mistrust. This is going to be someone who's very passive. They let life pass them by. They show self-doubt. They lack self-esteem. And they have a lack of sense of control and a lack of sense of purpose. An overactive solar plexus can look like stress, chronic fatigue, someone who's very aggressive, someone who's very controlling, competitive, stubborn, as well as someone who's very critical. So how does the solar plexus become blocked? When you're very self-critical, you're very judgmental of yourself, this can also become blocked when you grow up with a very strict upbringing or very overbearing authoritative figures or parents, or even being conditioned on very disempowering beliefs, whether that be traditional beliefs, societal beliefs, religious beliefs, or what have you. Anything that, again, takes away your own power to or anything that disempowers you. So as we've mentioned for the past three weeks now, ways to heal the chakras are definitely Reiki, yoga, meditation, healing frequencies. So if you are a yogi, some yoga poses to try to stimulate that sacral chakra is gonna be the mountain pose, the dragonfly pose, and the boat pose. If you wanna try out some aromatherapy, you can use essential oils healing and stimulating your solar plexus such as lemon lemongrass or even cedar wood or if you like crystals you can use crystals such as citrine peridot which is my birthstone golden yellow lavenderite or one of my favorite crystals tiger's eye or you can start with some solar plexus affirmations these affirmations are going to start with i do remember you can always say i am so affirmations you can say, I can do anything that I desire. I honor the power within me. I do all things with confidence and with ease. I do my work with discipline and clarity. I am the embodiment of inner peace and confidence. And last but not least, my favorite healing modality. Food, you guys, food, the solar plexus, the color yellow, 
related to all of our yellow foods such as squash, bananas, pineapple, corn, um, even chamomile tea, sunflower seeds, oats, brown rice, ginger, yellow peppers, and even beans. So with that being said, I'm in the mood for some Chinese food, so let's make some lo mein. But we're gonna be making it from spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash lo mein. Okay folks, so to start, you can cut slits on both sides of the spaghetti squash or maybe just kind of um, stab it with forks. And then you are going to bake it in the oven at 400 degrees or about 40 minutes to an hour depending on the size of the squash. Now once it's done, you can let it cool, cut it in half, and then scoop all the seeds out of the middle like so. Now once all the seeds are out, all you have to do is rake the squash with a fork from the outside towards the middle and you will see the squash become very stringy like. Then you're gonna prepare your vegetables for your lo mein, whatever vegetables you desire. I chose to use onions, celery, and carrots for my lo mein. Um, I actually wanted to add shrimp and I forgot to buy shrimp. <laughs> so today we're gonna just stick with vegetable lo mein. Next, we're gonna add our oil to the pan and throw in some minced garlic. Then we're gonna add in our vegetables to the pan. Next, add in your seasoning. I added in some pepper. I added in ginger as well as chili flakes and a little bit of salt. And then last, we're gonna add in our spaghetti squash. Now I'm gonna be using a substitute for soy sauce. This is Coco Aminos. You can even use amino acids. They're both really good substitutes for soy sauce if you don't like soy um, or even if you just wanna stay away from sodium. That just goes to show how bomb this recipe came out. That was so good. I actually haven't made that in years. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all next week for week four, right? Yeah, week four of the Chakra series where we discuss the heart chakra. Make sure you're following us on social media at Stephanie TV, on Instagram and Facebook. 
If you decide to try this recipe or even another, make sure you send it over to us at snappinitv at gmail.com for your chance to be featured in our So You Think You're a Chef challenge. And I will see you all next week. The entire recipe along with all the donation links are down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching.